welcome to Atlanta Live. You are in for a treat tonight. Yes. I'm Rachel Miller. I'm Victoria Burrs. And we are so excited to be here on the set of Atlanta Live. You are about to be blessed. We've had an opportunity yes. to meet all of our guests ahead of time and talk to them and they have a word on their heart and I know that it's going to bless you. And they have so much to share with us on the evening. In fact, the whole program is just chocked full of good information, yes. amazing testimonies yes, and stories is. of God's goodness and God's grace. We're just going to suggest you get a cup of coffee, cup of tea, whatever works for you. Yes. Stay with us on tonight. You don't want to miss a thing. Most definitely. And if you have a prayer request tonight, yes. we want you to call. We have prayer partners right now standing by in the prayer room yes. waiting to agree with you in prayer. So whatever Amen. it is that's going on in your life right now, God's got it and let's agree with you. That telephone number to our prayer line is, is 770-300-9828. That number is on the screen. And uh, also call a friend and let them know we are on, we yes. are live. And if you don't want to sit at home in front of your TV, if you've got to be on, on the go, we're streaming mobile. So you can join yes. us via Facebook Live, yes. but go to, to the WATC TV website and click on Facebook Live there. That's the best way to get connected. So wherever you are, you do not have to miss a thing from this evening's program. That's right. And we're going to jump right into tonight's broadcast because these ladies that we have on the set tonight, they have a heart for God, yes. a heart for ministry, and a heart for women in business. Yeah. So we are so excited to have these three beautiful ladies here with us this evening. We want to introduce you to Miss Beth Copeland, Good evening. Miss Pamela Bridgman, and Miss Mecca Johnson. Good evening. Yes, Welcome. Thank you. We're Welcome glad to, to meet Atlanta you this Live. evening. Yes. We're glad God to meet you. you. Welcome. Welcome. Thank Welcome. Thank you for having us. Well, we are glad you're here. You have so much to share with us. Uh, tell us uh, just a little bit about yourself. Beth. Well, I'm Beth Copeland, and I am the director of the executive director of Georgia Christian Business Network and God's People Ministry. Okay. At GCBN, we like to say affectionately, we're putting God back in business. Amen. And so GCBN has been in existence for about eight years now. God's People Ministry is the 501c3 organization that undergirds Georgia Christian Business Network, or GCBN. And actually, we found, was founded in 2001. Wonderful. Yes. Wonderful. Yes. So how did you get started? What's, you know, what's behind all of this? Well, what was that passion point or that experience yes. that we usually have? God's People Ministry in 2001, I was exiting the marketplace and I was really getting my certification in human resources through the University of Georgia. And so my thesis was related to marketplace ministry. And it was just a calling, really, that the Lord just laid on my heart that his people having managed in corporate America, I was the Southeast Regional Credit and Collections Manager for a GE Capital Business and went on with that same capital business to be a human resources manager. And having had opportunity to work with individuals in the workforce that were Christians, I saw a disconnect. Mm -hmm. How do you transfer the thee and thou from Sunday to the marketplace on Monday? <laughs> oh, that's yes. good. Yes. That's good. Yes. Yes. What we own at God's People Ministry at that time and now at GCBN was the opportunity to help God's people set a standard in the workplace. Amen. So that's, that was my first book there. Amen. That's wonderful. Wonderful. So setting a standard in the workplace, which is so needed, and you didn't just stop there because whenever you find a leader, all you have to do is look behind and see if there's anybody else following. Yes. Teach. Yes. <laughs> right. Teach. And that's what's yes. been happening yes. with you. Yes. Talk about how others have been joining forces with you and your vision right. and what you're doing. Absolutely. Right. And, and As a result of, mm -hmm. of her leadership, then she opened it up for other people to become members of GCBN. So like I own my own business, Mecca owns her own business, and there are a whole network of us who own our own business that GCBN then puts on monthly and sometimes more often uh, seminars to help us to learn how to do just what Beth said, bring God back in businesses. Uh, even though like my business is a Christian business, there's still things that I learn about how 
to make God even much more of a force in working with, with my uh, it seems like now that would guarantee success because God has got to be oh, in the midst good. of it, right? <laughs> Listen, yes. The, yes. the word of God is a tool. And, yes. and if we try to help business owners and business professionals, we welcome them all inclusive to help to understand how do I appropriate the word of God for the workplace? Yes. You know, utilizing the practical relevancy of his word yes. and experiencing success. Yes. yes. What'd you say? And what I've enjoyed about um, the organization is being with people that are professional and love the Lord and you can come together and there's just a spirit there and it, there's opportunity for training and even though my company my joy speaks is can be faith-based or it can speak to businesses or or churches or schools there's something for everyone and there's um, there's just a lot of collaboration and a lot of learning every time. You do not want to miss it because right. Beth will bring in business people to teach us how to do our business better. It's yeah, great. Exactly. At our Georgia Christian Business Network meetings, it's an opportunity for us to help bring in not only the members, but those people in the local community to help make the word, not make it because it already is yes, relevant, yes. but to show forth and exemplify the relevancy yes. through the practical application of God's words. But we also, so Mecca was talking about the technical piece of that because we always have themed meetings and there's an opportunity like we had one of our middle Georgia chapter members, uh, chapter coordinator, Morrell Anderson, came up last week, and he facilitated how the 2018 uh, tax changes can impact your business. Oh, and so it was very informative very meeting. Important. So prior to that, we have business empowerment, which I get the role to play, <laughs> is that we, we're not ashamed of the gospel. Yes. We want, what our vision is, again, is to put God back in this business, but the opportunity is to help Christians to understand you don't have to live compartmental lies. You can right. you can actually walk in your faith in the marketplace without proselytizing. Absolutely. Okay? And so that's what our role is at Georgia Christian Business Network. Another thing, and I want in just a second for them to share more, because I wanted the events that Pamela was talking about, that we have opportunity, aside from our monthly networking meetings at the chapter in Gwinnett, which is our uh, base, our home base, we like to say. We have Middle Georgia. We have a Snellville chapter as well, where we go and have these meetings, and people come together and it's like Mecca was talking about an opportunity for encouragement uh, to be educated uh, we galvanize Christian business owners and professionals who, who want to understand I don't want to leave my faith at church on Sunday right. I want to walk it out and that I could be a witness in the workplace right. and so the events that she was referring to we have like events coming up at the end of the month that Georgia Christian Business Network is sponsoring uh, media tools to grow your business. And Tyrese Eccles is just awesome with LinkedIn and social media, but not just that. She's going to actually go deeper and introduce some social media tools that I didn't even know were out there. Okay. <laughs> but also we have another person that actually is going to come in and talk to us about how television and other media outlets can help you grow your business. That's skilled professional. That's awesome. What does the support, having a support network like this mean to business owners here in the community? Yes. I want these business owners to answer yes. that I could tell you but I want them to tell you. What I was you. about to say is it's you know how you do the networking when you're uh, in in secular networking it's different because when you're networking in a purely secular setting it has that everybody out for themselves kind of feel mm -hmm. competition but here when and there. you're networking yeah. within GCBN, you know that somebody's got your back. Mecca said collaboration. Yes. And, yes. I, and what I love about it is everybody there, I've been surprised at the, what I call secrets, but it's not, I mean, the things that they will share with you, this will, this is what I've learned. This is going to help you to grow. I want you not to have to stumble over this like I did. And there's yes. just this open, free sharing of what we of what people have learned mm -hmm. and especially for new business owners just an encouragement don't worry about that it's going to work out and it is and you just i mean 
and and the Lord being the center of all of it is exactly. just amazing. Powerful. Exactly. Yes. And yes. that is just not for women. Yes, right. it's all inclusive, male, female, yeah. Okay. So, Wonderful. yeah, so we it, at the networking meetings. But some events like the one that's coming up this fall that we're totally excited about, yes. and I asked these wonderful business owners, these awesome GCBM members to be a part, and they're on the platform. Um, at GGG, God Golfing Girls. Okay, I love it. Tell, tell us more about that. Yes, we're so excited. And this is an opportunity. This is our fourth annual God Golfing Girls yeah, Conference. We, the, we uh, have an fire. awesome, awesome platform of outstanding presenters that will actually take the platform. I like to, Erica. Uh, Jackson is our keynote speaker. She started her business, CYE Inc. She's also the platinum sponsor for GGG, God Golfing Girls, fourth annual event. Uh, she started her business at the age of 24. She's now 38, and last year they did 100 million in revenue. Oh my. That's yes, awesome. and so we're excited. We can't wait to hear from her, to glean business acumen, to understand what are some of her nuggets that yes. she has yes. utilized and to cause her to be successful. And this is faith-based still. She's a Christian, powerfully Christian, powerful Christian woman. I met with her a few weeks ago. She was in town. She from she's out of Jacksonville, Florida. Okay. So she was in town, and we met uh, at the Capitol Grill for. We sat there for four hours. Oh my! I kid you not. That's we even you did a Facebook God. live. Yeah, you know really, it's God. Yes. You know it's God. Yes. But these ladies are also going to take the platform with along with some others. Maybe Fantastic. you want to mention some of the nuggets that you're going to share at GGG, Mecca. Yeah. Well, sure. I. Um, um, Psalm 1611 says, In thy presence is fullness of joy, and yes. at thy right hand there are pleasures forevermore. And the whole um, goal of, of my business is to help people understand where their source of joy is from and understand that's where we get our strength. And um, some of the things I'm going to talk about is how to guard certain areas in our lives in order to keep us focused on Jesus, that's because powerful. it's so hard to have all of this coming at us. But mm -hmm. um, as I've shared before, the Lord is not surprised at all the social media. He's not surprised <laughs> at what's going on in the world. He's not surprised at what's being thrown at us. He's the same yesterday, today, and forever. Yes, yeah. he is. So he has, he has given us what we need, and I'm excited to share what he's what he shared with me, and Amazing. it's and there's nothing new under the sun. Awesome! Just, I had no the way idea he shares that it. she was going to quote that scripture <laughs> because <laughs> the title of my presentation is "The Power of Presence." Wow! wow. And then well. we'll be talking about being how important it is to be in the presence of forgiveness, in the presence of various. Uh, I'm, I'm a therapist, so to be in the very yeah. in the presence of various parts of our emotional being in order to rebuild our lives. That Wonderful. That's good wow. because you have to be Wonderful. in a good emotional place, even as a business owner. Yes. You have to have a sound mind. You have to be centered in your core. Yeah. It, yes. Exactly. And 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 there ought to be an aspect of service in your business if you're going to be successful. See. Right. Mecca will speak on Sunday along with myself and Tiffany Crewmans. Uh, she's uh, the inventor of Ava the Elephant and was one of the first winners on Shark Tank. Oh. And so the three of us are aligned for presentation on Sunday. But uh, Pamela's going to be on. She always opens us up. Pamela is, is unique in that. For the four events that we're having with the one coming up in October, she's attended all, which 50% oh of our attendees wow. are repeat. That it's a unique Wonderful. event. Awesome. It's a two night, but we come in um, Friday and we leave on Sunday. So it's a two night stay at the awesome, awesome Stone Mountain Marriott Resort. And they can get Beautiful. information about that, I'm sure, on your website. For definite. Awesome. Now we only have about two minutes left. Okay. What haven't you had an opportunity to share? You can actually uh, share that now. Make sure you give your contact information so everybody yes. can. can jump in and, and be a part and of God, God, God and girls. Yes, yes, for definite. But the main thing that I'd like to do in the last two minutes is to share that God has a plan Amen. and each of us are a part of it. Yes. What's so important that we're trying to do, we're just not putting on events. We're not just having networking meetings. What we're doing is we're helping people connect their faith 
to understand that God has created them on purpose for a specific purpose. Amen. And so all of the events are Christ-centered events, as you said already. And so the main thing that we want women to know is that Proverbs 14, 1 says, every wise woman builds her home, but yes. the foolish pluck of them down with, with her, her own, own hands. hands. Yes. It's an opportunity yes. to rebuild. Yes. Yes. We've yes. all yes. had challenges in life that have caused us to get off target right. from the goals that we've set. So we want to help you rebuild, to understand that God has called you to be the head and not the tail, above only and never beneath. And so we invite awesome. you to come out to October uh, 19th through 21st at the Marriott. It's awesome. So many gives away foods, hat, golf, all of that. <laughs> don't worry if you don't play. Taylor Allen, Taylor <laughs> Allen is a golf enthusiast that's going to help us with a golf clinic. And she's going to uh, give us an opportunity awesome. to get out on the greens and have a cookout afterwards. Awesome. Yes. Awesome. Check awesome. out our website, www.gcbnetwork.com. Um, email me, info at gcbnetwork.com. It's an investment okay. in yourself, but we do have some scholarship dollars available. Great Reach information. Out. Thank Ladies, you thank all you so much so for being here with us this evening. Great thank you, thank you so Absolutely. much. Absolutely. Awesome. Mm. We so appreciate it. I hope that you have seen, this is just the start of yes. everything that's in store tonight. Yes. We are excited now to go to music. We have our guest, David Allen Reed, yes. who will be ministering, and I know he will. Yes, my name is Victory. Victory. I've got evidence. I've got confidence. I'm a conqueror, I know that I win, I know who I am. God wrote it in his plan for me. I've got confidence, I'm a conqueror, I know that I win, I know who I am, God wrote it in his plan for me, oh, oh, oh. Conquer the enemy. He wrote in my destiny that my name is Victory. Said I already come. You know I already won. He wrote in my destiny. Yeah. My name is Victory. I know who I am. God wrote it in his place. Conquer the enemy. He wrote in your destiny that your name is Victory. You know you already overcome. <laughs> yeah. Wrote in my destiny that my name is Victory. I know who you are. God says that you're his star. My name is 
No, my identity, my name is victory. I know my identity, my name is victory. I know my identity, my name is victory. Well, if you didn't know who you were before that, you yes. know now. Your name is Victory. And you know what? My name is Victory. It is Victoria, it is Victory. which means victory. Yes. <laughs> Look at God. Yes. So we thank um, Mr. Dave and Alan Reed for yes. blessing us with that amazing time of worship. And it's so yes, nice to have worship. that wrapped up in the midst of sharing powerful conversation with our guests. Yes. And we're going to go right into visiting with our next guest. We are glad to have her here. She is Miss Kim McNair. Welcome to Atlanta Live. Well, hello, and thank yes. you for having me. I'm glad to be here. Well, we are glad to have you here. We are. It's a blessing to have you. And even our other guests that we had on were uh -huh. talking about business and the yes. importance of women in business, mm -hmm. oh, yeah. women networking. Oh, and you have a heart and a passion for the same thing. Talk to yes. us about your, your passion for, for women in business. Well, you know, my journey started about 27 years ago. Mm -hmm. I started my company in 91 after retiring from the entertainment industry out of the New York, New Jersey area. And moving to um, from that to Orlando, Florida, I just saw there wasn't a lot of things that I was used to. And I guess, I, I know I'm not going to guess, I know that God placed it on my heart to do something that was going to make a difference because in everything I did, I served. So I always tell everybody I'm a loyal servant. Yes. And I just basically uh, boots on the ground, grassroots marketing, mm -hmm. and put together my company. And um, it has just been a great journey ever since. And there's peaks and valleys in all the things that we do and things that we go through. So I oh, tell yes. people, you know what, I'm an advocate for women in business because I try to share and tell women about the things um, that I've gone through and try to help them to not make those same mistakes. Yes, right. yes. Uh, and, and, you know, in business when it comes to that because I didn't do it traditionally. I didn't start out with a business plan and this and that. No, I kind of just had a passion for something and a lot of women go into business that way, but I had a passion right. for what I wanted to do. I took my little change and um, just got <laughs> everything started. Got my paperwork in order, but got it started. Right. <laughs> I, I love how you said you, you took your change and your uh, coins, you know, that's right. because a lot yes. of people think that they have to have to start business. They have to have it all together first before they can begin. No, it's like it's, you, you, do, you do and you don't I mean like I said if you have a passion for something you know some people take their savings some yes. people get support from their family members yes. some people are able to get a line of credit 
But in, in my instance, I just knew it was something I wanted to do. It was within me, and I had been doing it all the time. Because in the entertainment industry, I was in the fashion industry. I was, yes, I was on stage, but I was always curious about what was going on over there. What were they doing? They looked mm -hmm. important. So I wanted <laughs> to find out what was going on over there. And right. so once I retired from that industry, and I started my business, I was able to start my production company and pulling it together and pulling all what I knew, what I see. And I had to go back and perfect my craft because it's important that we do that. Absolutely. A lot of people have to understand you have to perfect your craft um, as you move forward because, again, you know, you're going to run into this barrier, you're going to run into this, you know, different things and you want to be able to be able to overcome that I'm you know I always talking about overcoming those obstacles yes um, because they're going to be there they're there you know who it is yes <laughs> <laughs> so we have to be able to overcome yes. and to uh, just have a lot of faith because it's, this is a faith walk when yes, you're it is. when you're running a business when you're an entrepreneur it's a faith walk and you have to have faith you have to have perseverance and you have to be strong and stay focused for your journey. Yes. So when you got started, uh, you retired from the entertainment industry uh -huh. and you decided you're going to start this business. Did you have your team? Who did you have around? Jesus. You? I say <laughs> KMP is Jesus and me. Team Jesus. Yes. <laughs> no, I is actually didn't. I actually, I didn't. What I did was um, I got on the phone and I just called some people that I work with in the industry and I said, look, I'm looking to do this and give me some insight. And that was one thing that God gave me was some some uh, uh some wisdom yeah. okay and i was able to get a lot of uh, information from people that he had placed already in my life wow. all i had to, everything it was there you everything understand. i needed was already there i just needed to tap into it yes and at once i made a commitment and i knew this is what i wanted to do the pieces start coming together that's wonderful. So, um, you know, it's about just really having a spirit of discernment as right. well, mm -hmm. because, you know, we're going to get the other people. Yeah. Okay. I, well, how did you know in in your business walk, which is still a ministry walk, yes. how did you know that it was time to give back to other entrepreneurs? Uh, because, again, just serving, just seeing them struggle. You know, I always talk about there's power in the connection, and I know who I'm connected to. So if I can connect to you, then you're going to get that power source. Yes. Uh, if I can keep you from making some of the mistakes that I made, then let, let me do that. Let me, let what me are those mistakes? Talk about mistakes because people oh, don't necessarily oh know like <laughs> mistakes right. in business. What, what kind of mistakes? Uh, you know what? Being, uh, not doing the research on something, jumping out and doing something without doing a little bit of research. Mm -hmm. uh, because as an event planner, I have a, my, my company is, is corporate event planning, marketing. So it's important that I do my research on the type of event, uh, to do the research on maybe who the client is that I'm, I'm going to be working with and mm -hmm. doing things with, not just jumping out, mm -hmm. not just taking on anything. All money is not good money. I tell people, oh, oh I'm going to make, uh-uh, That's good. That's, good. Right. That's, a yeah, nugget. that's a really good one. That's a nugget. Be careful, yes. okay? Mm -hmm. So, yes. again, not to be so anxious, mm -hmm. you yes. know, to, to take on this. But that's, the, so those were some mistakes, just jumping in something and not really knowing. Because, again, I am my brand. My company is Kim McNair Productions. I am she. I'm yes. her. Yes. So I have to protect my brand, and I'm speaking for you and your company. So I have to make sure that my presentation is good, that I'm authentic mm -hmm. with what I'm doing, yes. uh, and that I deliver because you want a ROI. You want return on your investment, right? Yes. You're going to invest in me to, to, to be able to carry out what you, the, the assignment that you've given me. Mm -hmm. Then I have to have it together, and I have to make sure I'm on point. Yes. Now, you're making an impact in the lives of others through mm -hmm. what you do through business. Yes. How are you able to take that internally? How do you keep it together? How does Kim McNair, McNair keep it together? Uh, through prayer. Mm -hmm. Prayer. God is, is first and foremost in all that I do. I mean, every morning we have our time together. I say, okay, Lord, what are we doing today? Order my steps. What is it that... You know, yes. because again, things are coming at you. The distractions are there. Right. The phone is constant. We are in the social media age, and I have to be connected to social media. That's a part of what I do. Right. So right. again, uh, just just really that first, um, and and then being able to focus on the mission. A lot of people look at the position. I can say, oh, well, you know, I'm the host, I'm the event coordinator, um, I'm the executive producer of the TV show. If I focused on that, I'd never get anywhere. I have to focus on the mission. God gave me the mission. Yes. Or gave me a mission, and I have to focus on that, not the position that I'm in. As long as I focus on that, 
You're going to keep that's moving good. forward. Keep that's moving forward. Nugget. It is a good, good yes. That's a good nugget. Yes, yes. yes, yes keep moving is. forward. So you, you also reach out to the younger girls as well. Yes. Talk yes. about that. Oh, yes. Well, I used to have a modeling and image studio years ago, and I came here to Atlanta in 07. Um, and I've done various things, but it's, I've always reached back to young girls because I was a young girl. Mm -hmm. I was a little brown girl mm -hmm. in an industry <laughs> where it wasn't, wasn't you know, popular. it wasn't it was popular. popular. Not yes. for me. <laughs> yes. Okay, not not for me. It was mm -hmm. not popular for me. So I look at young ladies, and and being a a, a young brown girl, mm -hmm. I, I I was bullied. You know, I was yeah. talked to in a certain tone because of my skin color. So again, I always reach back and I try to help these girls to, you know, to build their self-esteem. Yeah. You can build a lot of self-esteem through that craft of yes. just modeling. Oh, wow, I'm on stage. The lights are on me. Okay, hey. Mm -hmm. So those <laughs> things are important. So, you know, so I kind of use that tool, yes. but I also try to build a lot of confidence in them. You are beautiful. My grandmother always said, you are beautiful. Wow. And, and you know, I look, so I, I love it. I look in the mirror. And I was like, K-I-M, that spells Kim. K-I-M. <laughs> so I was always in the mirror. <laughs> but, but, but I try to instill. Oh, yes. yes. Oh, you have to encourage yourself. Absolutely. Always. And so I try to encourage the young ladies and expose them to some, to some things, but also listening to them. Yes. I, I, you know, I was with some friends this past week, and we hear, but we have to listen. Yes. So a lot of times the young ladies don't have anyone that's listening to them. Mommy may hear them, but is she really listening? Listen. Daddy may hear you, but is he really listening to you? Right. And that's also what women in business, you know, they're reaching out, they're needing things. You know, people need mentors, coaches, yes. uh, um, and people to kind of help them along the way, but they need people that will listen to them and help guide them in that right direction. And that's what I'm here for. Absolutely. You know what I think is so powerful, Kim, is that God has enlarged your territory mm -hmm. and he has given you a platform to yes. be able to, yes. to speak. Talk about the platforms that you have right now, uh, the television programs and different things that you Well, the, the TV show um, mm -hmm. that actually stemmed from my summit. I do a Women on the Move Summit. This is our fifth anniversary, fifth annual coming up, and um, which we started five years ago, but it actually started before that. And the Women on the Move uh, TV program, I call it Women on the Move Live, mm -hmm. it is a platform for women in business. It is a platform for you to be able to come on or business woman or someone that's a pace setter in the community to come on and talk about the services and what they have to offer and exposing okay. the people but also giving them exposure so it's a two-way street yes um, we needed a platform at there was a time we there was you know the voice wasn't there for it. us yes. we didn't have it no. but there's so many extraordinary women uh, throughout Metro Atlanta that are doing great things Absolutely. and I, I just say you know what we need to do this so I wanted to take time and invest in them by investing in myself I'm really investing in them and awesome. taking that chance for them but the Women on the Move Summit it's an annual event I'm really excited about it it's coming up on the 20th of uh, next next Thursday the 20th of this month right. this year is the first time we're gonna have men yeah. on the platform yes never awesome. had men before but you know what we need to have the conversation mm -hmm. yes we need men at the table Yes. We're already at the table, but we need them to come to our setting so that we can talk and have a conversation. It's not a male bashing situation. You have a lot of men that support women in business. Yes. But yes. we have to talk because there's a lot going on within the world, the industry right now. Yes. And we need to be able to share because we have to do business together. So yes, true. we do. We yes, only we have do. about a couple of minutes left. Yes, yes, what yes, haven't you shared that you'd like to make sure that you have an opportunity to share? Mm -hmm. And then also be sure to give your contact information. Yes. Well. Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. Well, look, they can follow me on Instagram <laughs> <laughs> at Kim McNair PR. I'm on, I'm on Facebook. Please follow me there. You follow me. I'm going to follow you back tonight. <laughs> um, go to uh, womanonthemovetv.com to find out more information about the summit. Uh, come out. There's some dynamic speakers. The women are on point. They're some of the leading women in business here in Atlanta. And the men, they're dynamic as well. And they are going to be able to come and talk and have that conversation with us. And this is the setting for that. So I'm really excited about it. I also wanted to just mm -hmm. share this if sure. I can. Yes, go ahead. I, want, I always like to give stats. And these are some of the things that people are going to learn about. I wanted to let your viewers know that uh, there are 9.1 million women-owned businesses nationwide. They employ 7.9 million employees, and they're generating $1.4 trillion in sales. Oh my. And that is according to the National Association of Women Business Owners. Women are doing it, okay? They are doing We're doing it. some amazing we things. So yes. I, want, I want those... 
you know, the yes. ladies and, and, and men this year, men can come out as well to, to sh you know, get this information and be able to learn more about it, connect with yes. someone and grow from what we have to offer. This is good. Hats Phenomenal. off to you, Kim McNair. Yes. Awesome. And thank you guys for having me. This is yes. truly a blessing. Good job. Thank you so much. And we just summit. pray God's yes. blessings over yes. the summit and everything that you set your hands to as he continues to enlarge your territory. Yes. Thank, thank you, you so yes. much for being here. Oh, yeah. Blessed. Thank you for having me. Yes. Awesome. What a blessing. What a blessing. Yes. And, and the, the new better. things that people are doing in this season, even as we go on tonight, we'll talk more about that. Yes. We're going to segue now. It's time to go to the phones yes, into our prayer. prayer room. This mm -hmm. is time where you can call in uh, if you need someone to agree with you, if you need someone uh, to encourage you, yes. if you need someone to go to the throne, yes. we're going to phone. Yes, our prayer partners are standing by right now. Good afternoon. I'm Minister Betty Dixon from New Jerusalem Baptist Church where Pastor Elijah Collins is my pastor. And I'm here in the heart of Atlanta Live in the prayer room where we have prayer warriors in here waiting for you to call the number 770-300-9828. Call that number so they can pray with you and pray for you. I know you got some issues going on in your life because that's the way the world is circling today. There's so much going on. But these prayer warriors here know a God that can help you get through your circumstances, help you figure it out. God can work it out just for you. So call the number so they can pray with you. And if you already know Jesus Christ, call the number anyway and pray with us and we pray with you. That's what we're here for you to call so we can pray together because prayer will change the circumstance. Prayer will change the situation. And listen, if you don't know Jesus as your personal Lord and Savior, I like for people to read along with me. Go get your Bibles and find the book Romans 10 and verse 9 and 10 says, If thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus and shalt believe in thy heart that God has raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. For with the heart man believe it unto righteousness, and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. And if you just read that and you believe that there's a little prayer go along with it, said, I'm a sinner, Lord, come into my heart. Be my personal Lord and Savior. He will do that, and you will save. And you can be just like the rest of us prayer warriors here. Know that God will work it out for you good. Call the number 770-300-9828 and have a blessed night. All the glory belongs to you. The glory belongs to you. We lift our hands and say, Glory. It belongs to you. For he is our Omega. Forever is he. And he waits forever. Like the angels we cry, holy is he. Come on, right where you are, lift your hands and say, glory to the Lamb. We give all the glory to the Lamb. It belongs to him. Glory For he's Alpha He's the beginning And he's the end Forever is he And he reigns His kingdom has no end We bow with the angels Holy is he Holy 
to give you glory right where you are. Come on, lift your hands and give them glory. Whether you're in the studio or you're streaming live, somebody lift your hands and give him honor. It's to his name. It's to his name. We give you glory. We give you glory. We give you glory. Come on, somebody give him glory right where you are. We give you honor. It all belongs to you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Give him glory. Ooh. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Yes. Yes. Everybody in here is praising yes. God. Yes. We are worshiping God yes. in this place. We can feel the power of God. Yes. Ooh. Ooh, thank you, Lord. Quite sure how to segue. How do we segue? Yeah, how to segue. Bring we it just want to worship right now. Oh, we just yes. want to stay yes. in there. My God, my God. We well, good Mr. way Marcus to. to Martin, yes, that. come on, one more time yeah. for Brother yes. Marcus. That was awesome. Yes, yes, yes. You know, and that's what this is about. We are here mm -hmm. to, worship, to God. worship God. We are here to invite the presence of God yes. into our situation, into our life. So no yes. matter what's going oh, on yeah. with you, what, no matter what's going on in your life, yes. we just thank God that all is well. Everybody just say all is well. All, all is well. well. In Jesus' name. Before well. we yes. introduce our next guest, we just want to let you know and remind you that our prayer partners are still standing by. Yes. They are ready. Our phone line are ringing yes. and we are believing God that whatever miracle you need to see manifest in your life it is. it is done it shall come to pass whatever God yes. spoke yes. it shall manifest in the, in a, the name in the of name Jesus. of yes. Jesus yes. Yes. Woo, glory yes. we hallelujah have victory. We, have, we have victory we were just saying we have victory and so it's so powerful to have someone come into agreement with you. Amen. Even on tonight, I guess, you know, we haven't really had one individual person. People are coming in agreement, even talking on tonight about marketplace ministry yes. and talking about collaboration. And so that happens in prayer. And that happens as we meet with our guests this evening, as they're moving forward the kingdom of God yes. in this earth realm. Amen. But you know what? It's hard to do ministry if you're not healthy. Yes. If right. you're not well. Yes. And so as we introduce no our guests, let's go ahead and introduce our guests because we're yes. going to tie in wellness mm -hmm. into ministry so that you can walk out the call of God for your life. We want right. you yes. to be here. Yes. Amen. Yes. <laughs> yes. Amen. Yes. So we are excited to introduce to you on this evening, Mr. Keith. Keith Dobbins, yes. who is the Atlanta coordinator of the National African American Male Wellness Initiative. That's right. And we also like to introduce to you Ms. Dinesha Moore. Thank you all so much for being here with us this evening. Man, it's You're good welcome. to be here. Thank you. We are excited to talk with you, as Rachel said, about health and wellness. And you have one key word um, that you shared with us. You talked about prevention and so prevention, we're not talking yeah. about yes. health and wellness we know God is a healer mm -hmm. but we're not talking about getting it to it getting to it after the fact yes. we're talking about what we can do beforehand so tell us first both of you a little bit about yourself why you're even involved in the National African American Male Wellness Initiative what it means to you and how you got here today well you you talked about marketplace and it kind of kind of um, kind of sparked something in my memory uh, Kim Clement, uh, uh, a prophet, yes, he, yes. he said some Kim years ago, he, yes. said, he said, God is about to take the pulpit into the marketplace. marketplace. Oh, yes, I'll he never did. Get that word it just kind of stuck with me. And I, mm -hmm. and I thought about, you know, we, we go to church every Sunday and this, this and that, but what are we actually doing in the marketplace with people that don't go to church? Yes. So probably about seven years ago, I was a musical guest for the African American Male Wellness Initiative in Columbus, Ohio. Oh. Uh, so I was there and I was I was amazed at that time it was probably about 3,000 uh, men showed up with their families and lining up and getting themselves together with health and wellness and, and it's a 5k event so some were running and some were just walking with their families mm -hmm. and I thought man this needs to be in Atlanta. So I've been kind of working, you know, like hand and foot trying to get things together for the last eight years to bring this here because I felt like, you know, you know, we, we go to church, we sing, we do all that. But I want to get into a place where people are not necessarily going to come to church. We can offer them something. And, and then as a Christian or, or uh, uh, as leaders in our community, we can be a resource for them yes. to say, well, how can I get healthy? Because if we make healthy men, that'll make healthy families. Oh, that's good. And, and it's healthy worship. 
Yes. Yes. So just an example yes. of what God is, and, and, God, and, and we can be able to exemplify who he is through our health and our wellness. Yes. So awesome. That's kind of how I got started in it. Awesome. Mm -hmm. And Danisha, tell us about you. Well, I was uh, just like Keith. I was a guest. Uh, I had danced on in the walk about about five, six years ago in okay. Columbus, Ohio. Mm -hmm. um, so I've always, it's just been an, an awesome, an awesome experience just to see everyone come out. Because, well, you know, I know a lot of men who don't like to go to the doctors. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yes. And yes. I, I teach dance. I'm a choreographer and then a fitness instructor as well. Okay. So to see, to put in health and then families and men and then have got in the center of it is just a phenomenal ordeal. Um, I'm over the entertainment for the African American Wellness Walk. Wonderful. And so I'm bringing uh, singers and dancers and musicians. Uh, we have a spoken word artist, a violinist, all together for the entertainment stage. So they'll be performing uh, before the walk starts and a little bit during and after and some fitness instructors too to get everybody warmed up um, from Wonderful. all over Atlanta. Wonderful. So I'm excited. Are you both based here? In here Atlanta, in Atlanta yeah. yes. Okay. And so is the walk. The walk is based here in Atlanta. They have, they're in like 16 different markets at the time. It's been going on for about 15 years in Columbus, Ohio, kind of exclusively. Mm -hmm. And three years ago, uh, we branched out into several other markets in the, uh, in the country. And last year, well, two years ago, they started in New Orleans, their first time. They had okay. over like 4,000 people show up for that event. Okay. Last year, in August, they had over 20,000 people come to the event in Columbus, Ohio. Wow. So mm -hmm. it's, it's, it's amazing. I think that we're, we're re really uh, reaching a niche in terms of um, uh, public uh, interest in what's going on as far as health and wellness. Yes. One of the things, the key things for me is that we offer screen free screenings mm -hmm. uh, and tests for African-American men. So we, we start with the basic, with the BMI. We do things like uh, weight, uh, cholesterol, um, glucose, th mm -hmm. those things. And then it's hypertension. We go to okay. colon. We got prostate, uh, eyes, yes. all of those things are available because, uh, like I said, 60% of the diseases that kill African American men are preventable. Yes, mm -hmm. yes. How do you get the men excited about wanting to take care of their health and yes. to go to the doctor? Well, I think we prevent, we represent an opportunity where our registration is free. Mm -hmm. Don't have to pay to come. And if you register online, you can, uh, you get a free T-shirt. But we also want to try to keep it like a family-oriented type of thing. So we mm -hmm. ask you to bring your children along. Okay. Uh, women can, can also get, get tested as well. And I think when we do things in groups, it's a lot easier. It's not as much pressure. <laughs> yeah. You know, we right. can say, hey, you yeah. know, we're all going down. Let's go down and do this together, you yeah. know. Right. Um, so we have, we have right. that initiative. And along with that, we have uh, several other initiatives, too, that we're going to do throughout the year. With something called barbershop talks, you know, because... Uh, you know, we go to the barbers and we talk a lot. You know, mm -hmm. our barbers talk to us and we say a lot of things. And uh, so, <laughs> so, you know, but what we do is we, we kind of simulate a barbershop environment and we, we kind of drop in there some mental health uh, professionals. Okay. Because they don't really have data on us because we don't go to psychologists either. So, <laughs> That's right. so you know, we, we put them in, an, in a relaxed environment so that they can kind of just talk and, and we accumulate data in terms of uh, African-American men and their tendencies and those types of things. And we are the only organization that targets specifically African-American men. And we also are the only national organization that takes that information and creates data. Uh, the Ohio State University triangulates that, that information and it's, it's, it's uh, able to be put into uh, medical journals so that we can study and find out what's really going on uh, in our demographic. That's interesting. For pastors that are watching tonight. Yeah. Uh, or even for our rebroadcast, for the pastors that are out there, those who are ministry leaders who have access to men yes. to help get this message out, what would be your message to them so that they can rally up the men within their reach, within their circle, to get yes. them to participate and be a part of the, well, yeah. the walk and get the free screenings, take advantage of those? Well, one of the things that I've learned that in church research, church research in terms of church growth, uh, a strong church is, is typified by a strong presence of men, a strong population of men in your church. Mm -hmm. So if you have, a, if you have healthy men then in, in, in your church, they're going to pull other healthy men in. So we, if you see a church that has a lot of men in it, that's a sign of growth. So what we do is we've asked our pastors to, to have their men's ministries be a part of it. Uh, uh, concerned men that are in your that are in your uh, churches. So we've reached out to them. We've got about uh, a few churches that are, that are coming behind what we're doing and, and rallying behind You said us. a few, so that means there's room for more. Yeah, we need, yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Yeah. If, there's yeah, a church in every so. corner here in Atlanta, so, okay. yeah. <laughs> yes. so we're trying to make sure that all of our churches are part of it and, okay. and either coming in as volunteers, coming in and helping us with some of our vendors, 
Uh, we've been really, really blessed in Atlanta to have uh, great sponsors from Kroger, United Way, the Urban League, mm -hmm. all of those organizations, and many, many more that are mm -hmm. part of what we're doing. So we're excited about that. And why is this so personal for you, Danisha? Why are you on board? Where Does it touch a place in your life well, somewhere else? Well, I think else? it's using her gifts because she has all of that musical talent yeah. and everybody yes. gets to be blessed by all of that. So, <laughs> dance yeah, and she can dance can. and yeah. share that. Piece. Yes. So um, I, I have a company, it's called Love to Dance uh, LOC that mm -hmm. is based out of um, Columbus, Ohio, but then I'm franchising it everywhere else. And so um, it sounds like a normal name, just Love to Dance. Um, but I always say love to love, love to live, love to mm. dance, and God is love. And mm. so I want to, I always tell my students, all my kids, you hear about Jesus being in um, not just the, the sanctuary a lot, but in the marketplace and with sinners and with everyone. And it's always good to be a light, not just in the sanctuary, but outside. So um, I'm blessed that God has given me the talent to to do that, but to be a light and ways where people don't necessarily always get to see mm -hmm. God. Yeah. Um, and so I, this means a lot to me though as well because just in, in order to get anyone healthy or to pre prevent from anything, um, my grandmother passed from cancer, but it mm -hmm. could have been, it, they gave her six weeks to live. Wow. Um, but we were able, we weren't able to catch it on time. Thank God she lived 15 years later, even wow. after that. Wow. Yes. Um, so from then we've always been big. My family's been big on getting screening and everything. So if we can do that to anyone here in Atlanta, in Ohio, in, Georgia, in Virginia, wherever, but to bring the entertainment aspect of it, we have people from all walks. Mm -hmm. So we have um, R&B to pop to a little bit of country to gospel. Um, people who I know necessarily don't always go to church or mm -hmm. to go get tested. We're bringing them all here to perform. So they're bringing a lot of their people and it's just gonna be, mm -hmm. I'm just excited to see everyone um, to get and to plus, get tested and Dancing is just a fun way yeah. to exercise. Oh yes, yes most I definitely. Yeah, I'd like to be you. dancing there too. Yeah. We yeah, no. All of us go. Yes. Yes. And you have a flyer and some pictures and slides that you all can see on the screen right yeah. now to see more about what they're doing with this event mm -hmm. uh, and others. And yes. that is just exciting. And it looks like it's coming up on Saturday, September. September the 22nd. 22nd. Okay. Okay. okay, that's it's soon. Historic Fourth Ward Park. It starts okay. at 7 a.m. Okay. So the screening and stuff begins at 7 o'clock. It'll go to about noon. And the actual walk, uh, we'll, 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 we'll let the runners go first at 9 o'clock. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> let them go okay. ahead and run. Yes. And then the walkers will start about 9, 9.30. Okay. Uh, uh, from the park around Auburn Avenue, around Martin Luther King's birthplace to mm -hmm. Ebenezer around the corner. So it's, it's, uh, it's, it's amazing. This, this whole thing is so exciting. Uh, we look at African-American men whose average age is about 65. Oh. And our counterparts are like 77. Wow. So we're trying to do something to make sure that, that we live full lives mm -hmm. and, uh, and have healthy families. Yeah. Absolutely. Yes, wives, the wives get your husbands out. Yeah. Yes. Husbands, yes. Grandpas, husbands, the everybody. Uncles, the yeah. cousins, Children, the nephews. <laughs> pets. Yeah. 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 Bring the whole family. Yeah. That's, That's right. right. Yes. Right. yes. Pastors get yes. the men in the yes. congregation yes. to come Absolutely. out. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. This is a clarion call we, literally for prevention. And to really see people's lives change. There are times in, during the walk where we've had to take people to the hospital because of their numbers. Yes. Oh the numbers were so high that we needed, not, not that they were, had an incident at the walk, mm -hmm. but we wanted to make so sure that they understood, right yeah, that we could take them actually to the emergency room to show them what's going on. There have been so many incidents of that. We've mm -hmm. tested and screened over 8,000 men uh, mm -hmm. at, at a time. So you, when you think about some of these centers uh, that don't get that in a year, Right. We can get it in a day. And for some men, this is their yearly checkup. Yes. Wow. They can come yes. get all these screenings. You know, mm, HIV, all those things all are, are available to them mm, free of charge. Awesome. And our sponsors are, are responsible for that. You know, there's yeah. a scripture in the Word of God that says, with long life will he satisfy us. Yes. But, um, but the thing is, we have to do our part. We have to yeah. do our part. We yes. really yeah. do. And yes. so, you know, faith without works is dead. Yeah. So yeah. Yeah. this seems like an awesome opportunity to do the work yes. and the prevention. We only have a few minutes left. So what? let's let's hit on a few other points. Anything 
anything that you wanted to make sure that you were going to share tonight, this is your opportunity to, to, to share it yes. and just encourage their hearts to get out there and do what's needed to make a difference yes. so they can live and fulfill Absolutely. God's will for live their and life. Not die. Yes. And live and declare the word Amen. of the Lord. Amen. Almost said it right there for me. <laughs> yes. 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 I think yes. for me, the passion for me comes with when I saw that, you know, I, saw, I see, you know, I sing and I travel all around the country and I think, man, I'm leaving a song with them, but can I leave something else mm. that they can walk away with? Well, yeah. And if I can give an opportunity for them to look at their health and give them information how to better themselves, how to be healthy, how mm -hmm. to feel healthy. And, and when we do that, we're really leaving a deposit in them or a yes. legacy, if you will. Mm -hmm. yes. and, and it's because of the love of God that, that, that I have in my heart for, for our people and for all people, actually, to be able to give them something that they can take home and, 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 and live off of. Amen. I just think that's so important Amen. for us. Now, Brother Marcus is also a part Brother, of yes. that. Talk, yeah. Please mm -hmm. talk about that, because that song that he sang was powerful. powerful. You know, you know, yes. you know, one of the things that, I, that also I like about what we do is we're <laughs> yeah. offering different genres of music mm -hmm. so we can all kind of identify with pop, with rap, with R&B, with the dance, and so, yes. be a celebration, mm -hmm. you know, culturally. But also I look at, look at gospel and what, and what it really means for us, you know, so we're, 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 we're uh, creating a showcase for all of those artists to be a part of that so that they can Awesome. awesome. Awesome, awesome. Please give your contact information. Yes. How can we get yes. in touch? You can get it to uh, our website is www.aawalk.org. So you good. can go on there, you can register, you can sign up. It's all free. You get a free t shirt with that. Mm -hmm. yes. And we're looking forward to seeing everybody there. Sign up. This is an awesome Amazing. time for people to get on the phone tonight. Yes. And right take, away. yes, tell someone to go and to be a part of the yes. walk and get those free screenings. Yes. Oh my goodness, right we are right. looking like we're out of time for this. Time already. 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 <laughs> Cannot believe yes. it. And we thank you so much for being with thank us. You. Thank, thank you. Thank you so here. much. Yes. God's enjoy. blessings yeah. on the event. Thank yes. You so much. Gonna thank be you fantastic. So we are headed to break. Yes. What and a blessing. We hope that you will stay tuned. Stay Don't right go there. anywhere. Come on back. Yes, we'll be right back. to Atlanta Live. We are so excited that you are with us. This has been such a powerful night. Wonderful night, wonderful night. Yes. And we're excited. We get to take a few minutes to talk to one of our musical guests. Yes. And it's very nice to meet you, Mr. Dave and Alan Reed. Yes. Welcome. Welcome Thank to you. Atlanta, Atlanta Live. God bless welcome. you. Welcome, welcome. <laughs> yes, glad to have you. Well, tell us a little bit about yourself and how you came to be here at Atlanta Live tonight. I'm Dave Allen Reed. 
I love my wife. Hi, baby. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's pretty good. I, I love my baby. Oh, my God. <laughs> my wife, I'm married 13 years this year. Congratulations. Uh, three yes. children. I'm just a family man, really. I'm just a regular guy that loves the Lord. Amen. And um, I'm just happy to be here. That's it. I just love the Lord. I'm a worshiper, uh, recording artist. Mm -hmm. And uh, my new single I'll be singing this afternoon, this evening, is uh, my everything, the next song I'll be singing. Awesome. When did you know that you had a heart for music ministry? I knew when I was six years old. Oh, my What happened years. at six? At six years old, I have an aunt named Deborah Cummings who sang in the choir. And for some reason, when she sang, it touched me. And I knew then, I kept thinking, I liked something about her that resonated with me. And I fell in love with worship. I did. She was the first person I ever heard worship or even have prayer, like mm -hmm. intercessory prayer. Right. Yes, she was so right. faithful in that. So I kind of grew up attracted to that. Mm -hmm. And so I'm here uh, 30 years later to doing the same thing. Yes. <laughs> well, you know, the word says that your gift would make room for you yes, yes. and place you before great men. Yes, and God is obviously enlarging your territory. Yes, yes. Tell us about this journey of what you've been on in music ministry or anything on your heart, because I know that you had a testimony regarding your mother. You know, I like to talk about my mom real quickly. My mom, I got to share this, um, that I, I kept thinking, why would I talk about this now? Um, I want somebody to know that when you think it's the end, it's not over till God says it's over. Oh, oh. come on. Yes. Yes. <laughs> and yes. what happened was, years ago, my mom, she was frying chicken, like anybody else, mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> decided to go to the corner store. Went to the corner store, uh, got some groceries, you know, came back home. It was about dusk. And when she came back in the house, an African-American man and an Hispanic man jumped in on her. And uh, she was uh, brutally raped. And, oh my. and stabbed. Mm. Oh and um, the same chicken that she was frying, they ate before they left. Jeez. Oh my God. And before they, before, she, and before they left, they put in a, in a bathtub of blood, excuse me, of bleach water, and um, left her for dead. Oh my. The powerful thing is, I know it sounds horrible and it's really bad, okay? But what happened with mom is, she said when she woke up in the bathtub, uh, her, she, her mind was dark but a light came on, and the voice she heard was, I am self-eternal, not made with hands and without change. Jesus. Oh I'll say that again. Oh, my, I oh said, my God. I am self-eternal, not made with hands and without change. And so at that moment, her body received strength, and she couldn't walk because of the damage, but she crawled out of the bathtub to the hallway to the uh, kitchen, and in the kitchen there was a television set, and you know how you, you think in your natural self, call 911 to get help. Well, she couldn't think of that. She just knew I need help. And on the telephone, uh, excuse me, the, the TV uh, commercial said, contact the law offices of such and such for help. She contacted the law offices. They transferred her to the police department and she received help. Um, it took mm. a while, but she, to she told me one day, she said, son, I just need somebody to believe in me because at that time she had suffered agoraphobia, PTSD. It looked like it was an impossible situation, brain damage. She oh suffered strokes God. behind the rape. Uh, so much that she had went through and over 26 medications. But I'm here to tell you right now that she takes aspirin only. Good glory oh, okay. to God. I'm my telling you God, my that, God. Bless uh, the Lord. God will restore. He can do anything but fail. Yes. Anything but fail. Yes. And I need the world to know that, seriously. I'm here to worship and adore the Lord, but I want you to know Amen. when you think it's over, Jesus, it's not over not to God. Over. Since it's over, the doctors kept giving her, treating her like a diagnosis, mm. but God kept treating her like his daughter. You hear me? Ooh. And so right now she's healed, Hallelujah. beautiful, restored, Hallelujah. just celebrated the birthday. And I'm telling you, when we th she was beaten, raped, stabbed, left for dead, but today she's healthy, Jesus. vibrant, and on fire for God. So you you worship tonight, then it's out of an authentic it's real. place. It's real. It's real. Because you really have real. seen the power of I God have. move. Miss, Miss Rachel, is it Rachel? Yes. Miss Rachel, yes. I remember just coming in, I was happy about my name is Victory. Yes. And people sometimes say, why are you always smiling when you sing that? It's not my song, it's Jonathan Nelson's, but I sing it because I believe that my name is Victory. Yes. I sing Victory. Yes. I've seen it happen. Yes. When she was defeated, she became victorious. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? That's and awesome. so this next song where I'm singing tonight is my gonna everything. be my everything. Yes. And it's 
It's dedicated to my, mo my mother. Aww. Awesome. And awesome. it's just a song that anybody can sing. Yes. Um, you go wash the dishes, wash your car, fry your chicken. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and make sure you tell uh, the audience how they can find you where, on social yes. media. Yes. Or, and okay. give us your information. Got you. I am Dave Allen Reed. And follow me on Instagram at Dave Allen Reed 1, D A V E A L A N Reed, R E E D, the number one. On Twitter as well. And on Facebook, I'm just Dave Allen Reed. Come follow me. I love you. I want to follow you. Yes, <laughs> yes. And yes. invite him to yeah. be a part of your events. Amen. Pastors, if you're out there and you need someone to come and minister in song, his heart is tender for the Lord. He has yes. an authentic love for God. And so we are going to go into this next segment. You're going to sing what song now? My Everything. My Everything. My Everything. Come on, you all. Put your hands, put your hands together. together. Let's bless Let's God ready. for the anointed gift as yes. he comes to minister in song. Amen. Amen. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Awesome. 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 Awesome.
a blessing. My everything. Yes. Wasn't that awesome? That was awesome, and the testimony was awesome. Yes. We thank God for his mother and the yes. fact that she is yes. alive and her son and her entire well. family is telling the story. Yes, yes. Man. You know, again, I just keep having to say after we have the musical guests, Sometimes there's just such a shift. And it we, is. You kind of have to sit back up straight and pull we it do together. <laughs> we do. We have to pull it together it because it's just been a powerful yes. uh, transition from one guest to the next it guest. Has. And God has really put all of this together. And, and now as we move into our final guest of the night, oh yes. my gosh, you talk about the timing yes. of this season yes. and the timing of them being right yes. where they're sitting. Very it, prophetic. It's, it's God. Yes. It is the hand of God. Yes. Go ahead. Let's introduce them and uh, let's, let's let everybody know what we have coming up tonight. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. It is our joy to welcome Miss Millie Miller, Miss Ann Ganey, and a gentleman that said, just call me Pastor Jimmy. Yeah. We want to welcome you tonight to Thank TV 57 and Atlanta Live. Thank you, Thank you yes. so much for coming. Yes, talking about get out straight. Get out, stay straight. Oh, get out and stay, stay straight. straight. Because yes. it comes from a powerful testimony that yes. that you have walked, that Miss Millie herself has walked. Talk, if you will, for a second, Miss Millie, about your personal walk and how y your triumph is now helping others to become triumphant. Yes. Okay, I, um, I'm an overcomer by the blood of the Lamb, the word of my testimony. And at one point in my life, um, I was a drug user and did alcohol, you name it, whatever goes with the territory. But, um, I've been clean for 30 something years. Amen. And Amen. it's all God. It's yes. not a program, it was truly God. But what happened, my nephew had been in prison and God gave him a vision and told him, get out, stay straight. Well, his last name was Goss, Carla Goss. So he turned around and said, get out, stay straight. Goss is my last name. But he got out for one year and he was murdered within that year. Mm. And what I have done, for a ministry, the ministry that God gave him, I, I'm doing it now. And I do it at Reverend Welch's church, Trinity CME Church in Gainesville, Georgia. So that mantle, it was mm -hmm. a mantle passed, yes. That mm -hmm. mantle has passed on to you, because God said it, so it's still something that needs to be done. Yes. There's a mission still there, and so you have taken that up. Yes. That's amazing. Yes. And so tell us a little bit, yes, about how you know Anne, and also Pastor Jimmy. Ann and I, we started out on a journey. Mm -hmm. For one thing, mm -hmm. we thought, and we walked that journey together and served in the community in different churches. And after that journey was over for about two years, right? We thought we would just say, bye, you know, but we stayed connected and we started doing other things together. She became a part of Get Out Stay Straight as well, as a speaker and as an advocate. And Reverend, well, yes. again, the program is in his church, Get Out, Stay Straight. Yes. And I met his wife, and when I met his wife, she has a ministry herself called Chosen, right? Chosen Ministry. And she had told me about her husband and how he liked to feast of the trumpets and all this. So I'm, I'm a chauffeur blower, so I'm thinking, okay, then I finally met somebody that I can relate to about the chauffeurs. So that's how I'll, I connected with him. And I also want to say, get out, stay straight. We will be celebrating our seventh graduation, October the 14th at Trinity. And Reverend Jennifer E. will be our guest speaker. Fantastic, fantastic. Yeah. Now, she kind of slipped this in really, really quick. But we heard her say that I am a shofar blower. Mm -hmm. And so we really tell you, stay tuned tonight because she is going to bless us with that ministry before we leave. Yes, so, she is. Um, Miss Ann, Ann, um, tell us about a little bit about yourself. Uh, you have a bit of a journey that you're going to share with us on this evening uh, and how you connected. And we talked a little bit about your relationship being with Millie being a divine 
connection. So talk a little bit about that for us. Absolutely. In fact, a while back, Millie was texting me and we were just con conversing back and forth. And all of a sudden she texts, I know who we are. We're Ebony and Ivory. <laughs> <laughs> and I text back, absolutely we are. Um, so it's been fun to just, um, just have someone who's a safe friend. You know, we yes. all need safe yes. friends yes. who we can trust and, and they are our confidants. And so it's been, it's been a, just a joy to have Millie in my life. And um, I was the executive director of Choices Pregnancy Care Center for 25 years. And last year I refired, I don't call it retired, <laughs> um, <laughs> but I'm refired and, and I said to the Lord, you know, you're my boss, so what is your next assignment for me? Mm -hmm. And I'll say, I, I, captain, to whatever that is. And he said burden bearing, which obviously what, what do pregnancy centers do? We bear people's burdens when they come in. So um, that was um, a delight for me to hear because I do love to encourage people in their walk with the Lord and as they're going through tough times like we all do. Yes, we do. And so, but what I didn't know was I was going to need people to bear my burden as I went through a health journey for a thousand days. Mm. Mm. Now that's a long time. And, uh, but prior to that, in 2009, I had a total knee replacement 14 months later, I had a staph infection in that joint replacement, had to be rushed into emergency surgery. They put, I left after five days with a pick line in my arm, and my husband had to be taught how to, how to give me every eight hours for six weeks um, strong antibiotics by IV. And we looked at the medical people and we said, do we look like medical people to you? And the infectious disease doc looked at us and said, well, you are now. Yes. So, um, but I look back on that, even though that was, you know, six weeks and it seemed like six years, but God was preparing me, I believe, for the thousand day journey. Yes. Powerful. Yes. And so what happened August 6, 2015, was that I went in for a very simple medical procedure and I walked out and I couldn't breathe correctly. Very shallow breathing. My husband was, was threatening that night to take me to the emergency room. It was so bad. Long story short, went through every doctor uh, in Hall County. Then, I, then they sent me to Emory, went through everyone at Emory who had to do with breathing. They said, your next step is Mayo. Now, Mayo doesn't take just everybody. Right. So what they did, but they, God parted the Red Sea Hello. so I could get through on dry land yes. to Amen. go through into cold yeah. Yeah. Minnesota yeah. in December. <laughs> and I was so delighted that God did that for me. And I was just jumping around, praising the Lord for about a week. And then he got my attention and said, you know what? You, you may think you're going up there for a diagnosis and I'm going to get you one. But the bigger thing is I'm sending you up there to, for a mission trip. Oh. Mm. Mm. Whoa. Well, all of a sudden it wasn't about Ann anymore. Right. It was about what God was going to do through Ann on a mission trip in December to mm. Minnesota. Mm. Well, I asked him later, I said, can we go to Jamaica in June <laughs> next time for a mission yeah. trip? But he hadn't answered that question yet. a little different. That's right. But praise the Lord, I got diagnosed up there. God gave me tons of opportunities to just brag on him yes. to the people up there and bless them as they were in turn blessing me. Yes. It's a win-win situation. Came back with a treatment plan, and in six months of working that treatment plan, God has healed me 100%. Amen. 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 We yes. praise God. Yes. 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 Amen. And, you know, Amen. I look at, um, at Lazarus, and therefore his sisters sent unto him, saying, Lord, behold, he whom thou lovest is sick. When Jesus heard that, he said, this sickness is not unto death, but for the glory of God, mm -hmm. that the Son of God 
might be glorified. Mm. Amen. And so that's Amen. what I'm gonna spend the rest of my life doing. Amen. Just bragging on him and the first thing I'm doing, he um, wouldn't give me any rest till I said, yes, sir, I'll write a book mm. about this. Yes. Um, to just let people know whether they're going through any kind of hard time. Mm -hmm. It's powerful. If God was yeah. there for Ann Ganey, mm -hmm. he'll be there for you too. And what he taught me, he can teach that same thing to you in whatever your situation is. Amen. Mm. Amen. Amen. And you Praise know, I Lord. even see the connection because, mm -hmm. you know, you mentioned this sickness is not as, as unto death, yeah. but as unto the glory of the Lord. And the same thing with Millie. The, mm -hmm. the substance abuse was a sickness. Mm -hmm. Right. It was not unto death. And that sickness takes people out of here. Yes, it And does. so you are a survivor. You mm -hmm. are a survivor. We, we just see victory. My name is Victory was one of the songs. Right. You see that? We just Earlier, keep we just get victory. Right. So we, we have yes. victory right. and victory. Yes. And now we're right here with victory. Right. Glory I, to I God. So let's bring in the victory. <laughs> Come on, Pastor Jim. Let's bring in with the victory of yes. the new year because you're going to oh, talk oh, about the yes. victory that comes Absolutely. with the Jewish calendar of this being victory yes. in the new year. Talk a little bit about that. Absolutely. You said it right a while ago. Well, the timing, the timing mm. is, is just awesome Yes. at this time. We, uh, the Jewish culture, they celebrate what you would call the Rosh Hashan, which is the new year, yes. the new year. And they celebrate it by blowing trumpets, okay, or what we call the shofar. The shofar is a, is a ram's, ram's horn. Yes. And um, the new year brings in the uh, hopeful tendencies hopeful the, the outlook of, of a better year and also the hopeful uh, 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 coming of the Lord. Yes. That's what they blow the trumpets for, okay. the hope that Jesus Christ will come. Yes. And so, and so uh, when, when Rhonda told me about Miss Millie and how she blew the trumpets and, and the studying that I have done, I had to, I had to go see her. <laughs> and we met, up at, we met up at Trinity, my church, and she blew the trumpet. And I knew the significance of blowing the trumpet, and it just, oh man, you're talking about, you're talking about a healing. Yes. Wow. Yes. And an incredible, yes. powerful healing just overtook my body. Amen. Yes. And I said, Lord, this is it. This is it. You, so, you know, we're going to hear it tonight, but yeah. let's, let's do this. Uh, Ms. Millie, if you'll put your microphone down, if you'll pick that up and let everybody see it as you talk <laughs> yeah, about it. Absolutely. Yes. So that they can see yes, what you're referring to, because look at how this is constructed. Yes, yes. yes. Talk about how, look, look at this. It is beautiful. This is a Yemenite. This is a Yemenite, and this is a ram's, ram's horn. And this is a, um, uh, I guess a Jewish instrument of God, yes. of God. This is the only instrument he has for blowing, and it is very uh, instrumental in, in their custom. Of, of, and it has so many significant uh, things that are involved in blowing this shofar. The shofar, uh, has four distinct sounds in which uh, it eliminates from um, this instrument. Uh, the, 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 the kia, the uh, shavari, uh, the, 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 um, sh uh, the terua, I'm sorry, yes, the terua, and also the tekia goleon. And there are four distinct sounds that has four distinct meanings. Ah. And in and, and Jewish culture, they blow these uh, at least 99 times the th in three sessions. And then the last one, the last one, the last trump is the, is the tequila goleon is a long blast. It's a long sounding blast. How, uh, if, if the person who's blowing it can hold out for 20 minutes, they, they keep blowing it for 20 yes. minutes. But it is a call, special because it is a call of victory. Yeah. It is a call also to let know the bridegroom is on his way. My. And we get an opportunity to hear each. Are we going to hear each yes. one? Okay, all yes. four of them. Yes. Oh, this is powerful. Yes. And you mentioned the Jewish New Year. When does yes. that When does that start? When is that celebrated? Okay, the Jewish New Year is not like our year now. That's right. It's, it's different. We, we, we go on a Gregorian calendar, but the Jewish calendar starts uh, in, anywhere between September and October. It's called Tishri. Okay. Tishri. Okay. So, uh, and it started September the 9th, 6 o'clock, and actually the date start, uh, ended today at 6 o'clock. Okay. okay. So yeah. we're right in the midst. We're right in the midst. Of the new year. Of the, of new, the year. new year. It's beautiful. And so we're going to blow. Amen. All right. Okay. The first one that we're hearing is? The first one that we're hearing is the tekiah. The tekiah. And it's a recognition of God, the awesomeness 
of God. Amen. The second one, the chivalry. The chivalry is a call of repentance, and it's also a call of uh, uh, alarm, to get alarmed, to be alert. The terua. The terua is a sound of getting ready for battle. Mm -hmm. It's time to get up and go. Yes. My God. Jesus. Takia. Galeon. He's coming. Amen. He's, yes. coming. Yes. He's coming. He's coming. Amen. He's coming. Amen. 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 He's coming. Yes. yes, he is. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We believe this has been just such a special uh, time, uh, a special yes. evening. We've it been so been. honored uh, to Praise have you all Praise be the Lord. with us. Yes. And we've just decided that even though this is uh, not our traditional January 1st or December yes. 31st, right. yes. January 1st, yes. New Year. Yes. yes. This is actually a new year. That's we right. Believe this is God new year. is doing something. He's doing something. Special and new. Yes, Amen. he's yes. doing a new thing in this new year. And Amen. I just, I feel now. the presence of God. I feel the power right of God. It's right here. And it's so symbolic that you would be here even now. Yeah. And now for the grand finale. Oh, yeah. my yeah. gosh. Yeah. Tell us what yes. we're about to hear. Yeah. You're about to hear the last blow of the trumpet. Uh, the Bible tells us in First Thessalonians, the Lord himself shall descend. You've got 30 <laughs> seconds. Okay. Descend with the trump. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Yes, hallelujah. 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 Amen. Hallelujah. 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 Glory to God. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Amen. Praise the Lord. Thank you. We worship God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. We celebrate the new year. We celebrate Rosh Hashanah. We celebrate what God is doing. Amen. What he's doing in your lives, what he's doing in our lives, and what he's doing in your life at home in the name of Jesus. He who has begun a good work is faithful to complete it, and he will perform it. Thank you, Until Lord. the very end. Amen. 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 God.